Sky Thief. 2852 Earth, New New York, Last Bastion. Dren Torren slipped through the crowds, picking pockets with ease, when he heard the rumors swell. Up until then, it was a typical day in New New York. The errant hum of hovercrafts shook the air overhead, the acrid sulfur from the steaming vents billowed over the dingy masses, while hawkers sold pitiful excuses for food, a mixture of likely rat meat and a bioengineered gruel. Up until the whispers began, Dren had been deep in his element, fingers deftly moving, his frame slight and unnoticeable amid the shifting crowd. Sure, someone might have caught him, might have even turned him into the Praetoriate, ruthless, dark-visored officers well known for keeping the law. First-time offenders were branded, second time were never seen again, thrown into the vast sewers that ran out of the city. Dren's brand was burned into the back of his left hand. Still, he didn't care, maybe before, but these days, Dren wasn't fully alive. It had been a year since she'd been taken from him. At first, Dren was consumed with blind rage. He'd tried to form a plan of vengeance. Only Marcus's mansion was a fortress. He'd been nearly killed trying to infiltrate that gleaming white castle. The first time, Marcus's guards left him bruised and beaten. The second, they sneered and broke all the fingers on his right hand. He'd almost starved. Most would have stopped. Dren didn't. Two more times he searched for weakness, a chink in their defenses. On the fourth attempt, they'd broken ribs and kicked in his knee. Bruised and battered, Dren had had to learn to walk again. That had been the last time. They'd warned him the next time would be death. Dren wasn't wholly opposed to a suicide mission, but it defeated his ultimate purpose, to make Marcus pay. He'd nearly tried again, but despite his stubbornness, even Dren knew it was futile, and he'd drifted into obscurity, becoming a phantom. That was when he heard the whispers, rising like the steam from the nearby manholes. They say the lights in the mansion are all out, a woman said with gaunt cheeks and dark-rimmed eyes. Another replied, They say the demons have escaped and eaten their master. Marcus, others began to whisper. As tinder caught to flame, the whispers spread and consumed the crowds like a collective susurration, and all turned their eyes to the white castle in the distance, a surreal oddity amid the endless black skyscrapers. Dren didn't believe the rumors. Marcus? Was he dead? No, he couldn't be dead. Not yet. Not before Dren made him pay. But the lights out? It gave him hope. A sliver, sure, but hope was only ever a sliver in New New York. With a shrug and a sigh, Dren put the wallet back in the stranger's breast pocket and sauntered in the direction of the castle. 